check back in with our super sports team covering the Zags in Phoenix tonight. Zag Mania is in full force. Even a 20 hour drive away, guys. What have you got for us today? <laughs> Well, we didn't drive 20 hours. I also <laughs> lost a bet. Nadine was going to take my job if she won, and there she is on the sports set. So you know how that turned out. But, yeah, you know, here we are. We're down here at the Final Four still waiting. Uh, just kind of that anticipation continuing to grow. And now that we've had some events go on here, Will, today, I think things have really started to ramp up. Fans are getting ready to go, and I think the players today showed a little bit more edge as they're ready to play a little basketball. It's Final Four Eve. All four teams <laughs> practicing today. All four teams ready to go, we think. They've had these long Long layoffs, a week, almost a week for the teams uh, that played last Sunday. And they're ready to play some basketball, get this thing underway. As far as the Gamecocks and the Zags, lots of intrigue, of course, with the defensive matchup. But there are plenty of elements when these two tango coming up tomorrow afternoon. Just a day away from the biggest game in Gonzaga history. We're not nervous. We're just going out there and we're going to play. Both the Gamecocks and the Zags defensive stalwarts. The two top programs in defensive efficiency with South Carolina drawing on the passion from their fiery head coach. Intensity that uh, that Frank, uh, Frank brings to practice and uh, I think that's the whole key to it. On the whole, Gonzaga's offense has been much more potent this season, but the Gamecocks are averaging 10 points more per game in the tournament led by Sundarius Thornwell. We got to make sure we don't get them uh, we, we don't get them going you know to the rim really easily I think we had a real problem with that in the West Virginia game when we started following a lot guys have been bumping cutters they've they've been on the split line they've been making plays in the gaps they've, they've kind of been letting them get where they want to go and uh, when they're able to do that they're really good while the focus for South Carolina defensively slowing down Gonzaga's plethora of bigs it's gonna be a great challenge you know uh, we don't we don't expect anything to be easy so uh, we're going to do our best to guard them, make every shot difficult, and uh, try to win. win the battle inside. The great equalizer, the shooting backdrop, which comes with playing in a football stadium. The, the rim's 10 foot high, and you just got to follow through. If you make it, you make it. You miss it, you miss it. You can't concentrate on all the backdrop because everybody has to play on that rim. So it's not like you're at a certain disadvantage. And the team that's able to play their brand of basketball will find themselves 40 minutes away from the ultimate prize. We feel like a national championship banner deserves to be hung uh, inside the kennel, and we're going to give it all we have to, to try to make that happen. Zags, six and a half point favorites against the Gamecocks. They will be first up here at the Final Four. Those two teams tangoing at 3.09 here in the desert as GU looks to advance to their first ever berth in the national championship game. We mentioned some other festivities here at the Final Four today. The Reese's Senior All-Star Game 2017 edition right here on this floor, and that included a Washington State Cougar. Josh Hawkinson here today at the Final Four. He ends up with six points, six rebounds, but his West team loses 121 to 90. So not a lot of defense being played in this game, Will. Hopefully a better defense will be played here tomorrow. Good to see the all-time double-double leader at Washington State on the court one final time, at least for us here in Phoenix. Of course, that's just the uh, appetizer for the big one <laughs> on deck tomorrow as we cannot wait for the Final Four to finally get underway. we got a lot more coming up here in the 6.30 hour because the Gonzaga Nation is making its way to Spokane. We got a lot more coming up. But for Will Sherrod, I'm Keith Oso, live in Phoenix. KXLY4 Sports. Looking swell, guys. We'll talk to you in the next half.